Hey guys, happy August and welcome to your August Lifting Club programming. I wanted to take just a quick minute for my at-home Lifting Club ladies to kind of let you know what to expect this month with your program. Um, hopefully preemptively answer some questions ahead of time and just create a space where you can post any questions that you have down below here on the program so that I can answer them for you. Um, but the first thing that I wanted to kind of talk about this week is, or in this video, I guess I should say, is that I know it can be really common sometimes to look over your program, your new program, and you know, you're getting excited looking at the movements, and then you might notice a couple of things, especially this month, because there's a couple of different things on there that you don't feel as excited about, and you feel like, oh, I'm gonna look like a fool trying to do this new movement, or that seems really overwhelming and hard. And sometimes I think it can be like human nature to say, well, maybe I just won't do that movement. Like, I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna feel dumb trying, or I don't wanna do something that I'm not good at. But I really wanna challenge you this month to set a goal for yourself to complete every exercise that's on your workout program, every single rep, and to let us really help you with those movements that you feel not as confident in. That's kind of the whole, I mean, that's the whole idea with training. There's gonna be things month to month that are new or challenging, or you kind of feel like, I'm not sure I could get a whole 10 reps in with that, but that's okay. That's how you're gonna push yourself and grow, and we are here to help support you. So if you find on any of the movements that you're like, man, I tried to do two and I feel like it's really off or it felt really challenging, film that movement, post it in the group, and we are ready to go to give you swaps that are needed or form changes that are gonna make it better. Along those lines, you're gonna notice a couple of things. Um, the first one that I'm thinking of offhand is that we're gonna be really focusing on push-ups during this block, and then we're gonna be doing a new version of bicycle crunches that I've never put in the program before. Up top, I've included a scale video. So if you're trying to do a strict push-up from your hands, from your feet, and you're not able to do one, make sure that you watch that scale video so you can see how you can make that movement just a little bit easier to be able to get in the full amount of reps. On that same token, let's say, I think we're doing 10 reps on the push-up um, set that I'm thinking of. Let's say that you can do two strict push-ups, but then you have to drop to your knees. Make sure to do those two strict push-ups and even try to get a third before you go down to the easier version. If you're someone who can only do a couple push-ups from your knees before you have to do more of like the fall down and push yourself up, do as many as you can before you make it easier for yourself. So really challenge yourself this month to push beyond your limits because maybe you find out that at the end of the block, hopefully, and you probably will, that if you could do two strict push-ups, now you can do three or four and you're gonna get a lot stronger there. The same thing on the bicycle crunch movement. Try it with the band first. If you're not able to do that, scale it down, but do as many as you can of the new, a little bit more challenging version before you do that. Um, something else that I wanted to talk about is that you will find that on some of the movements, there's one in particular, I think it's the dumbbell floor press. I give some different rep ranges for you to use. So I say, if you have a challenging heavy weight, do six reps. If you feel like the weight that you have to work with at home is easy, make sure you do 12. So when I say a heavy weight, that's gonna be relative um, and different for everyone. If six reps feels challenging with one of the weights that you have and you can't get up to that 12 marker, then that's probably a good weight where you should say, you know, I'm gonna do six reps on this movement. And um, if six just feels like a breeze and you don't have anything heavier, then I want you to challenge yourself with 12. And again, that's something we can definitely answer in the Facebook group if you're like, you know, does this look easy? Does it look hard? Take advantage of us because we are on there. Something else that you'll notice in your program, and you may have noticed in the past but not completely understood it, is that at times we'll give rep ranges. So it might say 8 to 10 reps or 12 to 15 reps or even 15 to 20 reps, and that's a pretty big range. What we are hoping that you will do when you have a movement that has that rep range is that you're going to challenge yourself to push for that higher end of the reps. So if there is a movement, for example, a squat, and you're doing 15 to 20 reps, I don't think that that is in the programming this month, but if there is, you're pushing yourself to get 20, but you're going so hard, you're not sure that you're gonna make it all the way. Especially on weighted movements like a bicep curl, something that you're using weight, um, the whole point of having that range is to say, <clears throat> we want you to push yourself, try to go to the top end, um, but you're pushing yourself so you're not totally sure that you're going to get it. You're going to see some other movements. Um, there's a single leg box squat in the program this uh, month that I really want you to focus on trying to do it to the best of your ability, squatting down, keeping form really solid, and some other movements like that that 
are going to test your stability a little bit, are going to feel, you know, maybe a little bit out of your comfort zone, but I can promise that if you show up every week um, and do your best with those movements, that you're going to be super glad that you did at the end of this block. We are having a giveaway this month. We are going to be giving away an earth fed muscle bundle pack with protein, pre-workout, a bunch of really great stuff in there. We'll have more information to come on that. So remember that every time that you complete a workout in the app, all you have to do is complete the workout in the app. Make sure that you marked it as complete. Um, or every time that you tag Team Fitless, either on an Instagram story or an Instagram post, that gives you one entry into our drawing. I think a post actually gives you two. And at the end of the month, we will draw and one lucky person will be the winner of all of those great products. So let's have a great month. We, we know we harp a lot about posting in the Facebook group, but that's really because the people who are posting consistently week to week are the ones who are making the most progress, incredible progress with their strength, their physique, and all that comes with that. So use us this month. Please post below if you have any questions or if there's anything that we can do to support you, and let's have a great August.